Okay, if you're hearing my voice again, that means you got all your lights plugged in the wall, you checked them out, you got your daisy chain hooked up, all that stuff, we're ready to address the lights. What you're going to do is start with your first light coming out of your controller. That's going to be considered light one or scanner button one according to your DMX controller if you're using the Acrobat or just about any other manufacturer's brand that's similar. Uh, so what you're going to do is go to light number one on the back of the light. You're going to see a little red panel there with some dip sw white dip switches and we're going to address them. The first light in this chain is going to be considered light number one. So we are going to turn dip switch 1 and 10 to the on position. Now, keep in mind on may be down, you know, there may be a different style look of the thing, but it's still the same style of operation. You're still going to flip dip switch 1 and 10 on no matter what it looks like. Now I'm going to give you some very valuable information. An industry secret, stuff guys get paid for when they got to come out and hook your lights up for you. And that's going to be a general dip switch setting for 12 lights to fill up this board and get your show on the road. Light number two, dip switch one, five, and ten. Light number three, dip switch one, six, and ten. Light number four, dip switch one, five, six, and ten. Light number five, dip switch one, seven, and ten. Light number six, dip switch one, five, seven, and ten. Light seven, one, six, seven, and ten. Light number eight will be dip switches one, five, six, seven, and ten. Light number nine, will be dip switches 1, 8, and 10. Light number 10 will be dip switches 1, 5, 8, and 10. Light number 11 is 1, 6, 8, and 10. And light number 12, 1, 5, 6, 8, and 10. Okay, go ahead and get all your lights dip switches set for however many lights you have. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. If you got more than 12 lights or you want them all to do just the same thing, you can share address settings. So in other words, your first three light in the chain can be scanner button one, and then scanner button two can be another set of lights. It's perfectly fine to do that. Just keep in mind if your chain gets too big, too long, too crazy, you can start to have data transfer issues. So go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to be right back to show you how to program the board on the next segment. And if you're still having trouble at this point, you better call 1-800-880-0883 so you can have some one-on-one -on -one time and get this figured out.